One of the ways that you can measure racism is in pounds. I didn't learn this in school, and I bet you didn't either. Many of you are probably familiar with the tragic discrepancy in maternal mortality across races. Black women are more likely to die in childbirth compared to their white counterparts. Critically, the reason is not what people call intrinsic racial differences, but rather uh, what I've referred to as the social determinants of health. But I want to focus specifically on the infants that are born. This comes from Dorothy Roberts' book, Fatal Infants. Invention. Alongside the discrepancy in maternal mortality, there's also a discrepancy in infant birth weight in pounds. Put simply, the children of black women and women of color weigh less at birth, statistically speaking, than the children of white women. That matters because medically, the infant birth weight can have significant long-term medical effects down the road. It wouldn't be unreasonable if you heard this to start thinking biologically, that maybe this is a genetic problem, this has something to do with like curlier hair and darker skin, it could be related to intrinsic differences between races. Let me give you the specific reason that we know that this wasn't true in this case. If an effect is genetic, it's going to be more or less statistically constant across a racial category, uniformly distributed. But sometimes history gives us natural experiments. Following 9-11, there was an increase in Islamophobia and anti-Arab hate crimes. That was measurable, not just in the statistics of crimes, but it was also measurable in the infant birth weight. But the weight difference was not measurable to all Arab infants born post 9-11, which would show that it was somehow a genetic effect. The weight difference specifically was for infants born to women with Arab sounding names. This was not a genetic problem. It was a social problem that manifested itself in the biology. Stress of discrimination or discrimination itself showing up in the biology. The higher rates of asthma are the same thing. The higher rates of death during COVID are the same thing. Or if you want to read chapter one of Dr. Benjamin's book, the seven and a half year telomeric aging gap, which I've discussed in other videos. What looks like evidence for intrinsic biological racial differences is in fact evidence for systemic discrimination showing up in the body. Measuring racism in pounds. Smarter people than me often use the phrase that race is a social construct. Part of what this means is that the social world that we build with our policies shows up in the biology and not the other way around. There are meaningful differences in health outcomes across race, but that's not because of genetics. It's because we built the world that way.